In this episode, I'm gonna talk about benefits of using proxies into your scene. Hi guys, I would like to start with browsing some of the nice library objects of Evermotion and this exactly is the package with the trees number 58 and I'm gonna choose a couple of them and import them into the scene so once when I got them into my scene I go to asset tracking and I'm gonna study if all the texture are there or I just need to put the path in the correct way to find where is the exact place of all the texture stitch to my object so once when I done this I go back to my object and I'm gonna study a bit if each of them are built by different objects like how you see the crown is separately and I need to attach each part of one object into the one so for that reason I press Alt and Q and isolate my tree after I use the attach option and I do all objects in one in that way. So I'm doing the same for the rest of the objects which I would like to use and now I proceed to the next stage which will be convert them into a proxy converting is working uh, but before doing this I just need to prove again my texture path but I like to use also a script which you can find easily attached to the video and you can download for free so that script is uh, collecting all the texture from the scene and will put it for me into the desirable folder which path I need to select and paste it in the window above and that's it it's pretty easy by simple click you can bring all the texture from your scene into a new folder and again I get I go to a set tracking and I'll put the new texture path of my object after that with the right button I go to Vray mesh export I take export to one object and automatically create proxies and confirm with the K and that's it I got already my V-Ray proxy object done and if you browse the adjustment you will see there is displays option you can choose by different options how you can see the proxy and all this you need for having a larger scene and that will allow you to work easily and quick in your, uh, your workflow so once when I create my proxies I proceed with creating a terrain and for that I'm gonna use a simple plane with lenses and just to bring a grey color to see 
exactly what happens there and we'll bring modificator just to have nice relief onto my surface next step is to use the Soulburn object painter which you can find also for free provided by link to this video below and you can use it in the same way I'm doing this by picking the surface and the object you would like to bring onto this some additional options you need to test and to play for yourself which will be the best and you can easily start painting with your trees so again I repeat the reason why we convert our objects into proxies was um, just that we need to have lighter scene which will speed up our workflow and will allow us also to get quick result otherwise if you don't do this and you use just your simple objects the geometry will be so much heavier that uh, definitely that will uh, disturb your working process and in many of the cases even your uh, 3d max will explode and crash so the reason is simple to create proxies is because proxies will allow you to work with your objects without having your physical uh, object in your scene and now I'm gonna use the forest pack which is my favorite working with three proxies custom objects and I add each of the objects into my list to work with on the forest pack some additional options again distribution map here you can select the way how you're gonna distribute your geometry onto the scene onto the surface there's different styles you can also customize your personal one also there is transformation options and display options and for getting your speed higher you can select uh, some uh, pyramid or box preview of your proxies something which I really like is to use if you go to area window you can switch off the general preview of your forest and with the brush you can start paint over on your surface the objects of your trees and also you can increase or decrease the numbers of the trees on to your chain so that's the general look on working with proxies and the benefits on it so enjoy and stay subscribed